That's why you heard the snappy noise. <laughs> Welcome to Papa's live stream. Yeah. I call him Papa. Mm. Papa likes to cry even though it tastes like yucky stuff. <laughs> it tastes like it tastes like like poo. It tastes like pure awesomeness. No, it pure tastes awesome. like yucky stuff. <laughs> So I should change the live stream to Papa's live stream? No, it's mm. your live stream. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> High five. Thank you for, for doing a nice intro. You're welcome, Papa. Well, nah, let me change this a little bit. A little bit higher. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm super short. I have she's, to like stand up. She's tiny. I have to go back to school. Oh. Well, that's what we're talking about tonight. Welcome everybody to Bot 10 Art. My name is Lazaro Gomez and this is the Friday Night Live Stream. Yay! A round of applause! <laughs> Yay! A round of applause! So we're going to set things up and get started. We got some pretty cool stuff to talk about and let's see. I need to set up... I need to set up the chat so I can see what everybody is telling me. All right, cool. Well, how's everyone's day? <laughs> the filler, the filler. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get this started. So you're gonna you're gonna hang out out there? Yeah. All right, I'll see you after the live stream. Bye. High five. I don't know if you need any distractions. <laughs> all right, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Always welcome. <laughs> Hang on just one second. All right, give me a kissy. All right, we are back. Hello. Hi. Oh, I wasn't sure if you guys are going to Tampa Bay Comic Con. Do, are you, do you have a table or not? Of course, uh, the very lovely Leanne and Trace are here joining us in the live stream tonight. So, I'm, I'm looking here. <laughs> I got my chat open, so I'll see it there as well. Uh, let's see. Ah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was my youngest daughter, Sophia. Um, <laughs> of course, the title of tonight's live stream is Back to School. And that's kind of, um, it's a little bit misleading, and I do apologize for that. Uh, but that kind of, um, I guess curtails what we're going to do tonight. So, ah, uh, let's see. Okay, cool. Yeah, no worries. Um, no worries. I just wanted to, I just wanted to shout you guys out if you did have a table. I will be there this weekend. I do not have a table this year for me when it came to tables. It was just absolutely nutty. Uh, <laughs> I had way too much going on. I could not rent tables and keep the shows going and do the commissions and everything that I had going on. So I had to take a small break from uh, my usual shows. And I do apologize for that. I know that there is quite a few people that uh, actually wait for this time of year to see me and to kind of hang out with me and, and buy some artwork. But uh, tell you quite honestly, I don't have anything new. So I... I put all the shows to the side for now, but next year I will have some shows. So uh, just to kind of kick things off. Yep, yep, they sold out. Yes, I will be at Claremont Comic Con. <laughs> I will be there, I promise. Um, it's one of my favorite shows, so I will be there. And um, I do believe my... Uh, my older daughter, Emma, she goes by Art Pander. She's going to have some stuff uh, ready. So I may have two tables, depending on how it goes. I don't know how ready she is, but uh, she does want to do a show. She wants to kind of experience it all. And she is uh, very young, so we'll see how it goes. She's 10 years old, and she's going to be doing a convention. So we'll see how that goes. But tonight, we are working on backpack hangers. So this little guy, I 3D printed him and then I coated him with uh, just regular, just regular flat white, uh, white spray paint to kind of make it matte. And tonight we're gonna paint that. I also made a mold out of it so I can make little figures that stand on the desk. So if we have time, we'll make that as well. But before we get into all of that, 
there's a lot of stuff that I'm excited about and uh, very grateful and thankful for. But first off is, of course, our new subscribers. So we have new subscribers to the channel. Um, and I want to say thank you for that because if you like my Friday night live stream, of course, the more likes we get, uh, the more visibility we get, and it keeps going. But I am very thankful for all the new subscribers we have. Um, and I wanted to kind of shout them out a little bit, but we have Ben Svoros. He's new. Uh, I hope I'm saying it right. It's Exidra. I hope so. I said that right. Andrew Arias, welcome to the channel. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to our community. We do this every Friday night. And every Friday night, we have a new project that we work on uh, just to kind of showcase, you know, all the things that I can do. And at the same time, uh, have a little fun and hang out with like-minded individuals. If you're an artist or you're a writer or you're a musician or anything like that, I want to be able to kind of showcase that in my channel. And I do hang out with a lot of people uh, that are of talented minds. And, uh, and I would like to show that to everybody here. The live stream, of course, exists as an experiment. And so the more likes we get, the longer I can do this. And it works out for everybody's benefit. But this weekend, I'm truly, truly excited because it is Tampa Bay Comic Con. It's one of my favorite shows. And even though I don't have a table there, I still want to go and I want to support all of my fellow artists that will be out there uh i know i know robo ono is one of those people that will be out there so if you're at the convention make sure to uh stop by his uh, table he's got a lot of great artwork and stuff like that i don't know if eric boyd will be there but if he is make sure to check out all of his stuff and let's see who else um i'm trying to think who else I, I, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to remember everybody that's there, but, uh, I don't know if my buddy Drew Blank will be there. Maybe I haven't talked to him in a while, but at the same time, I want to give a shout out to other artists such as Cyan Circuits, uh, Pendragon, uh, Pendragon underscore art, sorry, <laughs> Nella dot art. Of course they're here. They're hanging out. Um, it'd be awesome if you guys can put links in, in the chat that way other people can see that. And I'll put everything uh, in the description. So the, the commission that I was working on <laughs> was finally delivered today. Uh, the client was very, very happy. I'm excited about that. Uh, and I got some goodies. So we're going to go through these goodies and kind of see what I got. And I will show them on the live stream. And I'm sure she'll be like, why? But it is cool to show other artists' artwork. All right, here we go. So I got an envelope when I delivered the pop, and it has artwork in it. So this is some of uh, Cyan Circuit's artwork. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. It's like a little scarecrow. Now I'm sure. I'm sure she'll be able to tell me what all of these are. But and then of course. Gotta have a demigorgon. Yeah. Like that. I'm a demigorgon. <laughs> Alright, that was terrible acting on my part. Uh, let's see. Looks like... I don't know. Maybe Cthulhu, maybe? So, hopefully... Um, hopefully Kaylee was watching and she could chime in, but... Do I got that right? Cthulhu? I hope so. <laughs> Either way, it's cool. I got a lovely potion. It's like LaCroix. It's like medieval LaCroix. <laughs> Not a sponsor. There we go. Hey, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Maybe I'll put it there. I don't know. Look. That'd be kind of cool, right? <laughs> but then art makes Fridays the best night. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. And of course, uh, last but not least... This is Astral. It is her own creation. And she said, thank you. So this is the kind of stuff that I really, really love. Uh, when I deliver these custom pops, I get all this super cool stuff. So this is going to go right here on my wall. Uh, as soon as I get some double-sided uh, double sticky tape, boop, and it'll go right on my wall. So yeah, thank you for that. 
This is really, really awesome. It is so cool. <laughs> uh, going back to the subscriber thing, I did accept a challenge on Instagram and I kind of put it out there. And I said, if we reach 100 subscribers, that I would put up a video that is step by step on how I make these, how I make custom pops and stuff like that. And I did also see that you guys are making custom pops and they look really, really awesome. And I hope that you guys uh, put links and stuff like that. That way I can kind of show it all off. But yeah, we are really, really close guys. We are really close. Uh, once we get to 100 subscribers, I will keep my promise. Scout honor, all that good stuff. <laughs> And I will put up a video step-by-step step showing all of my little secrets on how I make custom pops. So there you have it. Another thing, when I go to Tampa this weekend, uh, make sure to keep an eye on my Instagram because I will be doing art drops. I will be doing art drops at the convention. I will be there Sunday. So, uh, so keep an eye on Instagram and you guys can pick up uh, little little knickknacks like this of free art <laughs> of lots and lots of free art <laughs> mm. so summer is coming to an end that dreaded time <laughs> of going back to school if you're a parent like me of course it could be very stressful you're trying to get all of the supplies for your kids make sure that they're ready um, to tackle a brand new year we were fortunate enough that uh, the teachers or my kids are happy with the teachers that they got um, and not that it's a good or bad thing because everybody's like, oh, I hate that teacher, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to discourage that, uh, but at the same time, we do have a good relationship with the school that the girls go to and we're happy that, um, that they got teachers that will basically jive well, that, that they can, you know, strive and, and do well in school. So. I'm, I'm happy about that. They're going back to school. Uh, summer is over, but I'm excited because now we're making that transition into the, into the fall season, uh, into the haunt season, of course. And, you know, it just, my favorite part of the year, it just, it's like Thanksgiving, or sorry, it goes Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Like that, that section of the year is my favorite. So we're going into that. And I had a great, great summer. It was so awesome. It was extremely busy, which is <laughs> which is something new for me, because normally um, normally I'm busy through the whole year, and there's like a small dip in the summertime, and then get busy again. But this year has been busy the whole year, and I'm very thankful and grateful for that. So uh, so yeah, <laughs> so tonight we're making backpack hangers, and if you don't know what a backpack hanger is. Uh, a lot of the times when you go to a gachapon or um, a little, you know, coin uh, toy dispenser or whatever you want to call it, uh, you get little tchotchkes and little blind bags and stuff like that, that you have a little clip and you hang it on your backpack and it kind of, it's like a cool little treat that you can have uh, for the school year and it makes you kind of happy when you got a lot of homework. <laughs> It reminds you, ah, school sucks. <laughs> so tonight uh, we'll be, of course, painting this little guy. And then I will attach the hanger to it tomorrow and uh, give one to each of my girls so that they can have a little, you know, cute chibi um, charm from dad. <laughs> so there you have it. We'll be working on that tonight. Tonight. Also, uh, going, you know, I know I'm kind of bouncing around a little bit, but going back to custom pops and stuff like that, uh, look at that. That thing is completely broken. So, of course, it didn't come from Funko that way, but I did buy this from someone on eBay, and the head was crushed in like that. So, I'm in the process of repairing these. If you guys are doing custom pops, um, just tip of the day, you might want to... Yeah, you might want to have some kind of plan in place to fix this sort of stuff. So, boop, that is there. 
and I, ha I have time, so that's going to be the custom pop that I'll be working on if we reach the 100 subscribers. Um, so I got to fix it. I got to fix that. And I'll have some tips and tricks on how to do that. So without further ado, <laughs> custom pops are addicting to uh, customize. Yes, they are. So uh, I have done some custom pops in the past, but this year has been really, really busy. And I have done 25 of them so far uh, in just a very short, short amount of time. They're very addicting. They're very fun. Um, of course, they're time consuming and they can have a lot of details and things like that. So just hang in there. Keep having fun. And of course, you know, that's that's all great. You know, if you can do something that makes you happy and it makes your clients happy and you make some money on the side, then it's a win win for everybody. So, yeah, very addicting, <laughs> very addicting. All right. So let's go ahead and flip the camera over. I got my lights ready. Uh, we're going to get some paints and we'll probably work with. Yep. We need one of these. We need some tape. I got an X-Acto knife, a pencil. I think. Yep. I think I got everything I need. So let's go ahead and flip the camera over and get started. <laughs> Here we go. Adjust the camera just a little bit and then we're going to zoom in. Doo -doo -doo. Whoa. All right. So that's pretty good. Everybody can kind of see that. Uh, also, I want to say uh, thank you for everybody who voted for me because I currently have a instructable that's that uh, has been entered into a into a contest in instructables.com and i'm very thankful that so many people voted for me it's really really awesome and i want to say thank you for that um of course they voted for the um state of decay painting that i did a tutorial for and it's doing really really well so thank you <laughs> thank you and keep voting and of course I started a new series called uh, Bites. So every live stream that I do, it'll be a, a sped up one minute version of what we do Friday night. And that's called Bites. So I don't know how it'll work out tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be a little bit busy. Sunday I'll be in Tampa. So uh, if anything, I'll put up the bite on Monday. All right. So I want to make a little face for this guy. Actually, I'm going to use a little bit wider tape. So I want to make a little face for this guy. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm thinking of having the top be like a strawberry and the bottom be white. We're going to paint the little the little stick wood color and then have a little face right here. So that's what we're going to mask out right now. <laughs> It's a whole lot of awesomeness in one minute. <laughs> Can you imagine if you told somebody that? You're like, hey, you got like one minute to be awesome. Go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I would fail horribly. <laughs> it's too much awesome. All right, so... Ba, ba, ba. I am looking at what size I need for the face. That that one looks pretty good. I like that. It looks cool. It looks really, really cool. So, <clears throat> yeah, working on custom pops. It's... Uh, All right, that'll give me a guide as to where to put that tape. And I got to keep track of which one I'm using. Uh, working on custom pops is, is unique in the sense that when you make one, um, it, comes, it comes at you really, really fast. People are like, oh, you make custom pops? Cool, I want one. Oh, I want one. I want one. And then next thing you know, everybody wants one. Which is 
you know, of course, for an artist, that's not a bad thing. Right? That's what we want. We want to be busy and create stuff. Uh, but you'll run out of... You'll run out of time real, real fast. <laughs> and that's kind of what happens. So, just like everything else, you know, you just... You take it in stride and you keep moving and you you take your time and baby step your way through it, you know? Mm. Uh, yeah. So... <clears throat> they're not a sponsor or anything like that, but... Uh, thank you to... Robert and Vanessa of, <laughs> of Late to the Party. <laughs> I've been tagging them lately uh, so that other people can see their channel. They they basically do reviews on uh, movie trailers and they've gotten me through a lot of these custom pops. Uh, they're very funny and very entertaining and I'm glad that they're around. So I kind of gave them a little plug on my Instagram and I'm doing it here on YouTube as well. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out. Late to the party. All right, so there's my stencil. We're going to go ahead and cut this out. That's the oh, wrong one. <laughs> That's going to go right there. That's going to be the face, and then we can start painting this this little guy. Ah, oh, thanks for the likes. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. All right, so here we go. Very carefully cutting this out. <laughs> All right. No. High levels of concentration. All right, cool. So, there we go. I hope everybody has um has had a good week. Mine was really, really busy, like I said, but uh, busy in a, in a good way. All right, there's our stencil. Or mask, I should say, because it's more of a mask than anything else. Boop. All right, there we have it. So that's going to go on here, and then we could start uh, painting... We can start painting our little guy. All right, there we go. So yeah, I'm thinking of a uh, strawberry for that. Let's see. A pink. Pink maybe. Yeah, we'll go with that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good, so I'm I'm thankful for that. Bites. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm picking out a brush that we can use. All right, here we go. Yeah, if you or anybody uh, that you know has a YouTube channel and, and you want us to kind of hook up together, let me know. That way uh, we can work something out. Let me shake this up. All right. Oop. <laughs> I'm getting notifications. <laughs> All right. That's... Oh. All right, I don't know if that messed up the stream or not, but I was getting a notification from my gaming group. <laughs> they are a cool bunch of guys. I kind of feel like I want to mask this part here, but I don't know how that's going to work out. I'll be really, really careful not to paint that. And uh, we need a place for paint. We need a spot for paint. All right, 
right, there we go. So I got that. Chat's okay. All right, cool. Thank you. So what are you guys up to? I know you all have been working really, really hard on artwork. And hopefully your shows have been going good. All right, here we go. Tiny artwork. Cooking? What? What time's dinner? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We, oh wow, stickers, nice. I'm going to have to get some. <laughs> I'll do like I did last time, just throw money at you. Take my money. Yeah, I'm curious to see the stickers. Now, now the big thing is uh, pins. All right, I'm going to run the dryer real quick. Just real, real quick. Yeah, a lot of people are getting into uh, enamel pins, which is kind of funky because I saw all of that come up. It was really weird. I guess it makes sense, you know. It's a neat way to uh, to just expand your art. So I've seen already quite a few people that have posted online about their pins. And they look cool. You know, they look really neat. So I guess there's, you know, that's, a, that's becoming a trend at art shows and conventions, which is pretty cool. Oh, wow. Cat print. Okay. So is... Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of people that buy stuff from Alibaba. Uh, what's cat print? Is that like a website or something? So this is uh, this is getting done in layers. It's my cheapy acrylic paint for all these projects, but I have proven it could be done. <laughs> I gotta go to the art store. There's your random thought for the <laughs> for the live stream. It's like, oh yeah, this is good. I'm painting this. Ooh, I gotta go to the art store. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh yeah. Yeah, they always got the 40% coupon. Man, I take advantage of that. Oh yeah, buddy. But yeah, I've heard of Alibaba. Um... The other one you mentioned, cat, cat print, I haven't. Let me look it up real quick. I'm assuming it's a website. Because I'm looking to expand too. I want to see. Oh, okay, got it. It's a digital printing solution. Aha. Groovy. Very cool. I'm still on a uh, sticker kick. 
because I love stickers. I tend to, uh, whoa, whoa. I tend to basically like sell and create stuff that I'm into. So like, you know, I like, I like that sort of stuff. So I try to make what I like. Oh, okay, cool. I understand now. Remember, man, I'm old. I'm not up on these things. <laughs> I'm going to be the art grandpa soon. <laughs> slushy, slushy water. All right, cool. Any cool trailers? I know I geeked out last week over glass. I totally geeked out over that. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. I know a lot of people have been using crickets to do that. But yeah, if you could print them at home, that's really good. Really good. Mmm. Alright, so we got that. I'm trying to think, should we do like chocolate underneath? That'd be kind of neat. Chocolate. Chocolate. I gotta get a thin brush for that. I got like this really tiny... What is this? This is a five. That way I can get right in there. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's make chocolate, huh? Chocolate. That'll do. I'm using the super awesome 20521E Nutmeg Brown. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm in rare shape today. Lack of sleep, <laughs> but I'm having fun. That's the that's the best part. Having fun. I mentioned last week that I'm in a very heated uh, game of Munchkins <laughs> with Christian. We're playing Munchkins. And our schedules have been so busy and so crazy that we, we're still playing that same game. It's nutty. <laughs> ah, focus. There we go. Yeah, we're still playing the same game. Yeah, that's cool, man. If you could, if you could print stuff like that at home, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, because most places you have to have like a limit or a minimum order to do anything. All right, let me see if I turn this, if it'll stay. Yep, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, you got to have a minimum order sometimes to to get things from certain places. So it's it's really weird. But if, if you can print them at home, that's neat. And I think it's cool, too, because you could kind of experiment a little bit and change things on the fly. Because, I mean, it you know, it's like it's hit or miss. Like you can you can have something in, in an art show and nobody like it. So, it, you know, it allows the opportunity for you to make changes on the fly. And that's pretty cool. Chocolate. Uh, this piece is for the most part flat so I'm taking advantage of that by painting off the edges <laughs> minimum orders suck well I mean they you know they gotta make money too I agree <laughs> 
But if we were the ones making stickers, we'll be like, minimum order. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Doesn't it suck? Everybody's out to make money. So are we, though. So are we. Oh. Careful concentration. If I go over a little bit on the pink, I, I'm okay with that. Because I could always paint it again. There we go. <laughs> oh, we should totally put... <laughs> we should totally make a sign for our shows. Like whenever we, we're at shows together, we'll make a sign that says exactly what you just posted in the chat. <laughs> we make money with morals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true that's true a lot of people uh well i shouldn't say people but a lot of companies don't overcharge yeah yep <laughs> they'll overcharge and make it that money girl <laughs> Making that money. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Bot 10 Art. We make money with morals. <laughs> and then for you guys, it'll be like, Hi, welcome to Nella Art. We make money with morals. <laughs> Oh, that's classic. Um, but that actually that brings up that brings up a good point. So, when I was starting out, a lot of you know I would sell art prints and stuff like that, and people were like, "Do you have a bag?" <laughs> and I would always tell them, "No, I don't." Um, no, I don't. I don't have a bag. You know, you, you're gonna have to <laughs> borrow one from somebody. So I was, I was selling, you know, I was selling art pieces, and they they weren't in bags, and it was it wasn't very professional and all this stuff. But I mean, <clears throat> so here's the thing, right? And I and I don't mean to stop the stop the painting, but like here's the thing: you want to you want to do a good job, and you want to be professional, and you want to have, you know bags and everything and business cards and all of this stuff when you do these shows but at the same time it's the cost of a business just like anybody else you know if you if you go to walmart or target or whatnot they got to pay for their electricity they got to pay for rent or whatever the case may be and that's where some of the profits go you know and for an artist it's the same thing so renting tables if you need to access the wi-fi if you need to use uh, Square or PayPal or some kind of payment method then there's fees attached to that as well plastic bags um, just everything everything you know everything and on average you know on average every show can be anywhere from 200 to 500 dollars um, before you even see any kind of profit so for starting, you know, for artists starting out, it's very difficult, and you can see why they team up, and you know, do all of the kinds of things that I've seen at conventions. And when I first started out, yeah, that's what it was. I mean, I was, you know, I was paying for my prints, I was selling the prints without bags, without anything. Oh, pardon me, without anything, and it was like, you don't have a bag. <laughs> it's like no. We don't have a bag, you know, and those kinds of things, of course, when you come back home, you start thinking about it and it's like, okay, well, 
is that going to give me a competitive edge? Is that going to make me a little bit better than the artist next to me? Is that going to, you know, make things a little bit better? So for me, I kind of, ever since, like ever since that happened, I started making a conscious effort. So, you know, I would sell artwork online, sell artwork online. And then it's like, okay, cool. I got money for a backdrop. Now I got a backdrop, you know, and I'm doing shows and I'm still selling artwork online. And it's like, all right, cool. Now I have a nice tablecloth. Now I have, you know, clips. Now I have bags. Now I have business cards. Now I have, you know, all of these different things that you kind of start building up your arsenal because it's like the double-edged sword. You know what I mean? It's the double-edged sword. It's branding at the same time. Uh, creating something awesome you know like yeah the artwork is really really cool but people like to see like to have something tangible something like you know a nice little package or you know a bag or something and you know those are the kinds of things that I started thinking about so <clears throat> when I was um, when I was when I'm doing 3d printing now you know, now that I'm doing 3D printing and all that good stuff, I'm thinking about those things. I'm thinking about branding. So, like, if someone buys something from me, what are they going to get? You know, are they going to get just, like, a, a little bag? You know, little bag, artwork. Or, you know, are they going to get something awesome? You know, they're getting, they're getting their product. There's branding. They know where it came from. And it's like, you know, we live in we live in a digital age, so a lot of people are like doing unboxings or reviews or things like that, and so that's something you gotta think about as an artist, you know. About ten art toys and props, it's like branding, <laughs> and it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy because you, as an artist, you just want to create really cool stuff, and when people buy it, you're like, awesome, people like it. Oh my god, they like the artwork. They're buying it. It's really, really cool. But at the same time, you have to think about those things. You're a business. You know? You're doing that sort of stuff. So branding is important. <laughs> and that's what happens. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't mean to uh, stop the painting. I just wanted to kind of say that on camera. So here we go. Going back. Spitting the truth. <laughs> Spitting the truth. Making money. <laughs> Making money <laughs> with morals, son. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad you guys are here because I mean, you could you could attest to that, you know. You've been there, you know. How is it out there? Is it everything I said it would be? And I learned these things the hard way, you know. And I learned them. I learned them the hard way. So like a lot of the times at shows, yeah, artists are out to make money and they're, you know, they're doing their thing and they're all different. But the difference is that I kind of, I kind of cling on to a sense of community, you know, especially, especially people that have been doing conventions for a long, long time. Like, um, you can learn from them, you know, you can learn from them. You could they'll tell you yep it's a doggy dog world and you know you constantly have to reinvent yourself you constantly have to bring out new stuff you constantly have to re-up on everything so yeah it's a business making that money that moral money <laughs> moral money <laughs> Sorry, I was reading the chat here. Oh, yeah. No, I know. I know. Uh, let's see. The Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi almost never <laughs> worth it. No, Wi-Fi is never worth it. It's never worth it. At least, at least in my opinion. 
because so many people are using it that literally they're just making money to make money off of the Wi-Fi. Never use their Wi-Fi. I mean, if you have to make some kind of mobile hotspot or something, then that might actually work better for you. Because the conventions, I mean, the same thing. They're out to make money as well. They're making money off of the guests. They're making money off of the artists. They're making money off of uh, people that attend the convention. Like, it's, it's all money. It's how we do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I mean I I agree with that. But you have I mean granted like us we're cool, you know. And I know a lot of artists that are really really cool. Like my buddy and I you know, I really wish he was doing more shows, but my buddy Orlando Pagan uh I get so happy whenever I see him because He's so delightful and he always gives me a huge hug and it's like, dude, we're doing our thing, you know, and he'll tell me about what he's working on. I tell him about what I'm working on and he's such a pleasure to, to see. And he himself <clears throat> got a little burned out on shows and, and I don't blame him, man. I mean, I got burned out too. And it's that sort of stuff. It's like, okay, well, it's a real, it's a real decision. To say, you know, how much how much is this going to cost me? How much am I going to make? And those are real things you got to look at. Making money with morals. Um, but yeah, going, you know, going back to it, like he's an ally, you know what I mean? If if I was doing a show and he's like and he and he needed it, I would totally share my space, you know, and we would work it out like whatever. If he wanted to pay me, you know, a percentage or whatnot, or I or I wanted to pay him because he got a table somewhere, I would totally do it. I would totally do it because we're helping each other out, but um, not every you know, not everybody's the same. Not everybody's the same and they don't agree with it. You know, because at the same time that it's like, okay, well, I got a table and I paid for it, but I got to, you know, it's my brand. So, no, we can't share, you know. That little girl loved my artwork last con and I was. Oh. I know. <laughs> it tears you up, right? <laughs> Yeah, kids are cool, man. Um, they come up and they, you know, they mess with all your stuff and you can't be mad at them. You know, they're, they're just as excited as anybody else when it comes to shows. And uh, and it, it tears you up, man. You're just like, oh. Especially when, especially when they say, you're so cool. I want to be just like you when I grow up. And you're like, oh. Oh, kid, don't be an artist. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, nah, no. Nah, it, it just gives you a really cool feeling, you know, whenever kids come around and stuff like that. That's why a lot of the times I'll give out prints for free. Because you never know. You know, you may, you may be, you may be uh, the inspiration for somebody. And that's a cool thing. I know growing up, I know growing up for me, um, there was a lot of artists that I looked up to. Boris Vallejo and, you know, of course, Jim Lee and a bunch of other artists. So if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't get into artwork, you know. Later on, when I got older, Tim Burton was a big influence on me. Chris Grimley to this day still is. I love Gris Grimley's artwork. But yeah, you never know. You might be you might be one of these kids uh inspiration. How super awesome is that? Then they'll be like, 
I got into artwork because I was inspired by by <laughs> by Netta Art. They do art with morals. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of course, we always support. You never know, man. You never know when you might. <laughs> hey, hello, hello. Yeah, you never know. Like you, you should never be too big. To, uh... yeah, you should never be too big for that. It's like, what, all of a sudden you can't talk to people? <laughs> you can't talk to people because you're, you know, like famous or whatnot? Come on. There's a lot of cool people out there that still, like, are down to earth, you know? And I like that. As it should be. All right, so I'm shaking up this classic caramel. Literally, it's just to paint that little thing right there. <laughs> Hello! I did my spiel earlier. Welcome, everybody, to Bot 10 Art. The live stream that makes everyone laugh. <clears throat> I'm dropping that science tonight. <laughs> yeah uh, also there's nothing there's nothing like there's nothing worse there's nothing there's nothing worse than like going up to your favorite artist and you're like oh hi you know love your artwork this and that whatever and they're just kind of like 20 bucks you know and you're, <laughs> and you're like, really, dude? Okay. Uh, you know, that's the worst. It's the worst when that happens. But at the same time, it's like, it's a really cool feeling when you, you know, when you see, it's a, it's a good feeling when you see your favorite artist and you're like, oh my God, man, hey. You know, I really love your artwork, this and that, whatever, blah, blah. And they're really, really, they're, they're receptive, you know? Like, they love it. They're like, oh, thank you, man. It's really awesome, blah, blah, blah. And you have that connection. So uh, that's what I always think about. You know, and it's not, it's not about fame or fortune or anything or, you know, none of that. It's about who you are as a person. You know, it's like, you could be, you know, you could be famous and be a really nice person or you could be just a regular person and just be a jerk. <laughs> so it's not so much, you know, it's not so much like the celebrity part of being an artist or whatnot. It's about being cool with your people, you know. It's like, it's not just sell, 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 you know. And looking at everybody that walks by your booth like they're sheep, you know, or something. Or like fish. Hey, buy my crap, buy my crap, buy my crap. Like it's not about that, you know. You have to make connections no matter what. So there's there's nothing worse than that, you know. You run into a favorite artist of somebody and like they're just total jerks. Which I have seen that as well. Oh yeah? New artist, cool. Did you guys have fun? That's pretty cool. Yeah, meeting new meeting new artists is always good. Yeah, solely on their artwork. Yeah, I mean, you see, you know, you see so much stuff online that you really don't know how the artist is, you know. And it just sucks if they turn out to be, like, really bad. You don't want that.
Yep, you don't want it. Chocolate. <laughs> I'm gonna run around all weekend saying stuff like that. Chocolate. <laughs> No. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. That's that's pretty cool. Commissions are awesome, but they're also like nerve wracking. All right, there we go. So we're gonna let that dry for a minute. Yeah, commissions are nerve-wracking. Oh, thank you for the likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the likes. Um. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should tell this story. Um. I really... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Okay, so commissions are good, but um, they can be nerve-wracking. Chocolate, chocolate. What's up, Steve? What's happening, brother? Good to see you, man. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to figure out how I want to say this uh, because I don't want to offend anybody. And I, I, <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk about it, but, uh, okay. So yes, I have been approached. All right. So when I do shows, uh, I don't know if you remember, but at, at Claremont Comic Con, I was running around crazy at one point in time because I did get a commission and I had only an hour to do it and the people were leaving and then I had to chase them down. And I felt horrible because with the commissions, what happens is a lot of the times somebody will will see me or find me. And it's like, oh, button art, Laz. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you're here. Here's a stack of money. Do something for me and I'll be back in an hour. And I'm like, oh, oh OK, yeah, sure. We could do that. And a lot of the times they'll forget, they'll forget. And now I have their artwork. They already paid for something and I feel horrible. I feel horrible about it. So what I've been doing is I've been getting a point of contact, like a phone number, email address, something so that I could, you know, if they accidentally forget and, and leave the show because people get distracted real easy, right? Um, I can give them the artwork. So <laughs> where was it? I, 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 it was a show. I won't say what show because that kind of ties it into the person. Um, I was at a show and this particular person said, Hey, you know, my friend and I, we have this ongoing joke where we find artists that we love and we ask them to do certain things. <laughs> Use medical terms. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> It is the Wolverine story. <laughs> All right, so obviously I've I've said this story offline. I don't know if I really want this to be on my YouTube channel, so uh, I don't know. I may edit it out. But anyways, <laughs> yes. So uh, this particular person, and he was a he was a cool guy. He was a really cool guy. Uh, but it 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 made it, what I was what I was not, uh, I guess, upset about or concerned with is the situation itself. All right. So it, it made the, it made the situation really, really awkward. The guy was cool. He was really, really cool. He came up to me, he was up front. Um, and he's like, look, man, you know, my friend and I, we have this ongoing joke that we go back and forth with each other where we get artists that we love and we have, you know, we commission them to create something and then we give it to each other. So that that particular day, I was really, really busy. Um, I was really, really busy. That, that particular day, I had 10 commissions that I had to complete and he would have been the 11th one. Or, well, 
he did become the eleventh one. And uh, so, anyways, the artwork that he paid me to do, he was he's gonna give it to his friend as a joke because he know his friend knew who I was, and that was kind of their thing. Oh my God, you got Baten Art to do this photo. So, uh, yeah, I did get the weird commission. I did the commission, and the whole entire time I'm, you know, I'm doing the commission under the table. Um, yeah, 11 and one day. And um, so I'm hiding the commission because it de the content that it deals with is highly inappropriate. Um, and it so happens to be that Christian, my son, was there. <laughs> And I felt horrible. I'm like doing this commission and I get it. You know, I'm a practical joker. I like jokes and this and that, whatever. Yeah, under the table artwork for real. Like straight up. I was hiding this thing. And the entire time, the entire time I'm I'm doing the artwork, like people are coming up to the table. Oh my God, you know, your artwork is so awesome. This and that, blah, blah, blah. And they're looking at everything and I'm like, talk to them, like talk to them, dude. And I'm here, you know, under the table hiding it and kind of like ah, oh, hey hi yeah okay cool oh you all right you want artwork and you know how it goes right i'm doing the sales and all this stuff i finally finished the artwork it's under the table i look at chris and i'm like i am never doing this again if i ever <laughs> you guys are you guys are terrible man you're destroying the chat but but <clears throat> it's uh it, <laughs> it's wolverine you know what i'm saying claws wolverine you get the idea i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get into it so the artwork is finished this and that i look at chris and i'm like dude i am never okay i am never doing this again the guy paid me like a lot of money but how much do you have to pay <laughs> Yeah, to not draw it, probably like three times what he paid me. So anyways, <clears throat> okay, so to put it to, to put it this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, he paid me a lot, okay? I will say that. He paid me a lot. And it was a small drawing. It was, it was maybe, I want to say it was like a, maybe a five by seven, okay? So a five by seven. He paid me, I, cause I told him, I, you know, he's like, he's like, I know it's a strange request, this and that, whatever, you know, what would you charge me if you have to charge me more? I don't care, you know, blah blah blah. So, I knew I was gonna draw something horrible, <laughs> so I tripled the, I tripled the price of the commission. I'm like, you know what, this is gonna cost you like, you know, blah blah blah, and he's like, all right, cool, no, no worries. He comes back. And oh, going <laughs> going back to that, Chris. You know, I'm looking at Christian. I'm like, oh my god, dude, I'm like the worst father ever, right? I have my son here. I did this crazy ass commission, and <laughs> remind me never to do this ever again, Chris. He's like, he's like, yeah, this is horrible. I, I can't believe you even took the job. Like knowing that, you know. And my son is now giving, you know, son is now giving dad like the more the morality <laughs> speech like like that i've no, you know i've known you of course forever all his life <laughs> um i can't believe you took this job like like you don't even need it why would you know you don't even need it and uh so anyways <laughs> no 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 i get the, i'll get to that i was smarter than that i was smarter than that um so yeah, Chris is like, I can't believe you took this job. My God, Dad, you don't even need it. Like, why, you know? And I said, well, you know, we're going to dinner tonight. Like, <laughs> this guy's going to pay for dinner. <laughs> and it sounds terrible. I know it sounds terrible. And I, I really hope that this person is not watching, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm not mad. It's, it's all on me. 100%. This is all on me. I should have said no. Um. But anyways, the guy shows up, he shows up and actually, yeah, so <laughs> the whole time, 
the whole time I have it uh, <laughs> like kings, baby. Uh, so the whole time I have the piece in not this sketchbook, but my big sketchbook, right? And um, and I have the sketchbook on the table. Only I have seen it. Chris was watching because out of curiosity, he wanted to know how I was going to draw this thing. The dude shows up. I kind of like, you know, like, all right, this is, this is the drawing. And, uh, you know, just like that, <laughs> it was more of a drug deal than anything. It was like, there's the drawing. Here you go. And I hand it, I hand it over to him. Mind you, he had already paid, right? And I am so thankful and grateful that he did not ask. Okay, because when I finished the drawing, anybody that gets a commission from me, I always put like either on the backside or a little corner or something. You know, thank you, blah, blah, blah. Button art or Lazaro Gomez, right? I'll sign it. So I did the piece immediately. It was like poof, into the sketchbook. Poof, sketchbook is hiding. I didn't even sign it. I didn't even sign it. Because I'm like, there's no way this is coming back to me. There is no way. And of course, now I'm talking about it on the live stream. So yeah, it could come back. <laughs> but it's been a while. It's been a, it's been a long time since that happened. So anyway, I give him the piece of artwork. He looks at it. He's like, he dies laughing. You know, <laughs> he dies laughing and he's like, dude, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh my God, bro. You are so awesome. You know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You know, awesome. And like, just, <laughs> just go, man. Just get out of here. Um, just get out of here. Wait, you're it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm dying. I'm dying. Like, this is the worst decision I have ever made in my life. Like, I will never. Okay. Like, that's that's the point that I'm that I'm getting to right at the end. Um, he's like, awesome, man. Thank you. Here's like a forty dollar tip on top of that. Okay. So, <laughs> it's like. Okay, yeah, okay, you know, whatever. He gave me a $40 tip. I know it was super awkward. I know I put you on the spot, you know, this and that, whatever, blah, blah. Thank you very much. And there he goes. He takes off, you know. He takes off and... <laughs> I just... <laughs> I was like, I'm done. I am done. I am never, like, I'm never doing this again. So yeah, commissions. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I have had like really awkward commissions. Um, they, I have had commissions that I absolutely turned down because of that experience right there. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Send that guy your way. Huh? <laughs> I never saw him again. Never saw him again. Um, but going back to commissions and, you know, of course, I, I love sharing stuff with you all. And we're going, we're over the hour, but, you know, stay with me. <clears throat> um, at the same time, that was incredibly awkward. It taught me a lot. You know, it taught me that it's okay to say no if it's outside of, the realm of possibility or your morality or whatever it is that keeps you going right it's okay to say no to somebody because it, it it just fits so on the flip side of that i went to another show where i was hired you know same thing this guy walks up to me right and he's got this little tiny sketchbook little tiny sketchbook it's about like yay fat you know little tiny sketchbook and, and I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> oh, here we go again, right? Here we go again. Another weirdo. And I mean, I don't want to call the guy a weirdo because he's not a weirdo. He's just, he's just a guy who's, who's, you know, playing a joke. <clears throat> uh, but this particular guy comes in and he's like, hey, 
um, I got this sketchbook and I go to conventions and <laughs> I started laughing. <laughs> I started laughing. I'm like, all right, yeah, go ahead, you know, go on, tell me. And he's like, I go to conventions and I'm trying to fill up the sketchbook with all of my favorite artists. And he hands me the book and he says, you know, he says, before, before you do the commission, if you do decide to do the commission, you know, go through it and, and know that, you know, I'm not messing around or anything like that. And I said, okay, cool. You know, I get the sketchbook, <clears throat> our music died. <laughs> I get the sketchbook and uh, start flipping through it. And it's like, whoa, you know, okay. It's, you know, it's Scotty Young. It's, um, oh my God. It's Scotty Young, Gris Grimley, a couple of a couple of other artists. I can't think of them right now, but you know, I'm going through and I'm like, whoa, oh, um, George Perez was another person that was in that sketchbook, and I was like, dude, I will totally do this commission for you. So he told me what he wanted. I flipped through one of the pages. Um, I did the commission for him, handed it to him. He was really, really awesome. And, of course, that story is not as exciting or fun as the other one. <laughs> uh, but it goes to show that it was, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun doing commissions and just anything can happen. And those are the kinds of things that happen at shows, right? Um, but, yeah, this particular person, he had a sketchbook. He had a lot of people. He had a lot of people that were in it. And he selected me and I did it. Which was really, really cool, you know? So, yeah. When it comes to commissions. Um, <laughs> especially my art kids. <laughs> keep that in mind. Because <laughs> if it happens to you and I am at that show, I am going to die laughing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to flip the camera over one last time so we can finish this guy up. And, uh, and kind of wrap things up. I hope I hope you guys got some entertainment out of this. Because I really put myself out there. And I, I didn't want to tell that story. But I told it anyways. Because I care about you guys. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, so I, I took the tape off. And it scraped off a little bit here. But that's okay. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish it up. And you, Steve, you know the story. <laughs> thank you art children i am proud of you too <laughs> all right so let's let's make the little face on this and and uh and that'll be it and i'll touch up the pink later on and stuff like that it's just when i was pulling off the tape while i was telling the story i wasn't really paying attention but uh yeah let it focus focus you can kind of see that right there i goofed up <laughs> Uh, are you proud of me? I can't believe I told that story. Thank you. Little chibi. There we go. Little cutie face. Chibi ice cream. It's for the kids. <laughs> ah. <laughs> there it is. All right, so I'm going to put a little hanger here. And then it'll go on their backpacks. Of course, I'm going to make multiples. I have copies because I made a mold for this. Uh, but yeah. Oh, it's adorable. Now you guys are going to run around telling everybody that Botan Art makes adorable artwork. Really? <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, there you go. All right. We are about 14 minutes over. And I got to eat dinner and continue on with my commissions and do all kinds of other stuff. But uh, I just want to say... Thank you uh, for joining me tonight. Oh, before I go, I promised, I promised I would do this. So um, 
I know it's it's kind of weird, but anyways, you guys know I vape and stuff like that. I was on my way to the regular vape store. They were closed. I went to a new vape store, and a very super, super cool guy named Britt hooked me up with uh, some new e-juice, and I told him I would put a little shout out on my uh, on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are into vaping and all that good stuff, go to KCVO and talk to Britt because he will hook you up with whatever you want. Um, not a sponsor, obviously, but I did promise him that I would uh, do a little shout out. They do a lot of, uh, I guess, live streaming for Fortnite. They're into custom pops. They collect pops. They have a bunch of chase pops and all kinds of stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, if you're in the in the uh, St. Cloud area, go check them out. So yeah, just putting that out there. <laughs> As I'm saying my thank yous. Um, hey, I, oh, let me see. Denny, hey Denny, how's it going? Um, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't understand what's, what's being said, uh, but I will put it through the translator and, uh, and talk to you if that's the case, but uh, welcome to my live stream and thanks for watching. Um, so I, I hope that's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so with that, we're going to wrap up. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to make backpack hangers. It's something that you can do at home. Um, you don't have to 3D print the stuff. You can make it out of other materials and then make copies of it and um, and paint them and have fun doing it. So with that, I will say good night. I want everybody to have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you here next week, Friday, 8 p.m. like we always do. Today was awesome. I can't believe you guys got me to say such a really awkward story. <laughs> uh <laughs> it's okay it's all right it, it'll be up there you guys can watch it again later on uh thanks for all the likes of course if you're new and you love this uh hit subscribe and hopefully we reach our goal and i can make this super awesome video of custom pops that i want to do so 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 very bad so very bad just for you guys all right have a wonderful weekend oh one last one. Oh, you're welcome you're welcome yeah i hope to see you real real soon and I want to see all my friends and all my fellow artists and everybody that I know uh, that make my life awesome. So, yeah. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, I will put links to more videos here in this empty space right here. I will put a little subscribe. All that good stuff. But, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So remind, <laughs> remind me next week to tell you all the story of, hmm, wow, babe. <laughs> My beautiful queen knows exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>